Hey ladies, long time no see. I've been minding my business being spoiled, but I wanted to let you know that I got my eyebrows done for the first time. These pictures are how I've been doing them since forever, just using powder and a brush up until a couple of weeks ago when I decided to get ombre brows done. So that way I wouldn't have to do them anymore. Um, I'm gonna show you that process here and show you how they've been recovering and let you know what I think of them so far. I grew my eyebrows out for a couple of weeks to give her enough to work with, even though I do like thin brows, but I want it to be on the safe side. Um, you can see here that we came up with a shape that's called mapping. It took about an hour to come up with that. She then started to numb my brows with the numbing cream and then covered it up with some wrap. Um, and let that sit for about 15 minutes so that I wouldn't feel anything. Um, and she did a really good job of that. She continued to numb me throughout the process. It wasn't just this one time in the beginning that she did that. While I waited, I decided to be extra and check out how good I looked in the mirror. I don't usually dress up. I'm more of a t-shirt and jeans girl, but I do have a lot of nice clothes that I usually don't wear. And so I felt like my eyebrows were gonna be looking really good, so I wanted my outfit to match. And I was just feeling myself that morning, so I decided to dress up. Shout out to Team Pisces, cause we're always looking good. I was very pleased with her office space. She decorated it beautifully. She had plenty of refreshments. She had um, multiple tables um, lined up because there's other women that she works with and they offer the same services and a few others that she does, but the office space was just beautiful and I felt like I could relax in it. She made me feel really comfortable. She didn't rush through her job and she was willing to revise the shape of my eyebrows as many times as I needed until I was comfortable with it. And of course I did settle on that. So you can see here that she has started to take off the numbing cream so that we could get started. We did start on my right eye first. I had looked at several different pictures of other women's ombre brows, including past work that she had done so that I would know what I wanted. But once you sit down to start the mapping process, you, it's kind of hard to articulate what you want because everybody's face shape is different, but I knew that I wanted a medium arch. I don't like the look that most women get, which is a very high arch, so they look surprised all the time. To me, that just looks clownish, even if the woman is attractive. It's not something I wanted. I also did not want the color black inked into my skin. I wanted a nice dark brown, and that is exactly what she gave me, and the way it's healed, it just looks perfect. So those two things, I was able to let her know that those were my main things. I didn't want that deep dive brow where it starts low and it goes up really high into that high arch. Um, and so I think she was able to give me exactly what I wanted, even though these do look really thick compared to what you saw in the previous photos. Um, I think it really did turn out, especially now that all of the ink has flaked off and it's pretty much kind of healed. Um, it did turn out how I thought it would look. But right here, you can see how she's going in, inking. I think she started at the tail of the brow for both of them, but right now she's doing an outline. An outline, sorry, and then went back in on the other side. I thought she was gonna be using her ring light um, to do this, but all she needed was some natural light, so she didn't have a need to turn that on and just have it be shining really bright in my face, but she did use it to take some pictures at the end. Once she was done going back and forth on both sides, which is mostly what that whole process was, it's just constantly going in and shading and shading and shading. You can see that my eyebrows are a bit red, um, but she had me wait while she got my go bag, my care bag uh, ready to go. You can see that there's a little bit of redness going on. Um, the pain on a scale of you know zero to 10 was a four. It really did feel like a breeze most of the time. She kept asking me if I could feel anything. It was mostly just a little bit of light tugging. And I just thought, you know, wow, this is really easy. It doesn't hurt at all like I thought it would. Um, and when she was done getting everything ready, you can see here that she's just coming in, cleaning up my brows, touching it up one last time. 
Although they do look really damn good, I was very nervous about sitting them up and seeing them that way just because they are a lot thicker. At least that's how they look um, compared to how I do them. I thought I was gonna be walking out with some nice thin brows. Um, so I had to, you know, just trust the process, but they do look really good. I had to trust in her ability since I did choose her. I was actually gonna fly all the way out to LA and have somebody do them there for $1,500, but I decided against that. I know a lot of you are like, what, bitch? What were you thinking? Um, but I was willing to pay somebody who I thought was really, really good to do them, and so I chose her. The whole process took about four and a half hours, which is exactly what was expected, so you're definitely gonna have to set aside time for that, but I love how it turned out. You can see here, this is the little um, care stuff that she gave me. This is like a green, soap that she calls it it smells like you're at some type of really fancy spot it smelled really really good and this balm here that is more of like a petroleum jelly that you're supposed to use before you get in the shower because you're not supposed to get your eyebrows wet these are the instructions that she gave me i bought a tattoo sunscreen prior to the treatment that you use after you've been healed Okay, so remember how I told you I didn't feel shit during the treatment? Well, a couple hours later, my eyebrows were on fire. This is me pissed off because they hurt so bad. Um, I had to take a Tylenol because they felt like they wanted to just climb off of my face. I was in a lot of pain, but still looking good. This eyebrow palette is the only one that I've ever used to do my eyebrows. You can see the two colors on the right to the two top brown colors or the colors that I've gone back and forth between. I also wanted to show you the brush that I've been using. If you look at how wide it is, that's the thickness that I wanted my eyebrows to be. So when I came home, I looked in the mirror, made sure that they were probably as thick as I was already doing them. And you can see here that it pretty much matches up with the shape that she gave me. They just look a little bit thicker, I think, because they're really dark and fresh. She has such a warm, beautiful soul. She gave me a hug after our appointment and put together a note wishing me well on my trip to Turkey, which you guys know that I'll be leaving soon to go and have my teeth done. But I was feeling myself the rest of the day. I was so in love with my eyebrows. I just had to, you know, have a Pisces moment and just sit and look in the mirror for a while admiring what she had done and just trying to get used to um, this new look that I have. So I'm still looking good the next day, but not even a week later, my eyebrows started to flake. I thought it would be a few weeks before that happened. And I don't know what happened, but on my left brow, you can see it really started to peel off, especially in the very front. And that part has not really come back. Here's a little chart of the process that it's uh, supposed to take. But that front part um, did not really come back. You can still see it here. This was actually today. Um, the eyebrows mostly, the ink mostly stayed in. The shape has held up, but I am gonna have her fix that at a touch up, which I do go back for in about a few months and that's gonna cost an $100. In a total of $600, $550 was her fee, 50 of that was a deposit, and then I tipped her 50 because I was happy with her service. So all in all, I recommend it.